God's holiness is now on our side. Stay tuned to your daily grace inspiration on Feeding on Jesus International. Our reading Bible verse for today is taken from the book of Isaiah chapter 54 verses 9 and 10. And the word reads, For this is like the waters of Noah to me. For as I have sworn that the waters of Noah will no longer cover the earth, so have I sworn that I will not be angry with you, nor rebuke you, for the mountains shall depart, and the hills be removed, but my kindness shall not depart from you, nor shall my covenant of peace be removed, says the Lord who has mercy on you. Amen. And a warning is also issued in First Peter chapter 5, verse 8. Reading, so be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, walks about like a rolling lion, seeking whom he may devour. Amen. I know that a lion roars to intimidate and to bring fear to us. But I used to wonder what kind of fear the devil tries to instill in the believer. We must let the Bible interpret the Bible. We can't base our interpretations on our denominational backgrounds or our experiences. Proverbs chapter 19 verse 12 also reads, The king's wrath is like the rolling of a lion, but his favor is like a dew on the grass. Who is the king that this verse refers to? Yes, it is our Lord Jesus. You are right. So when the devil goes about like a rolling lion, he is trying to impersonate the king. The devil tries to make you feel as if God is angry with you. Every time you hear preaching that leaves you with a sense that God is angry with you, guess what? You have just been rolled at. But know this. Beloved, God will never be angry with you ever again. He only has to tell us this. But he wanted us to be sure that he swore in his word that he will never be angry with us again. Today's verses are from Isaiah chapter 54, which is right after the famous Messianic chapter of the sufferings of Christ in Isaiah chapter 53. Therefore, Isaiah 54 is spelling out the triumphs and spoils of Jesus' sufferings. Do you know why God will never be angry with you, with you again or with us again? Yes, you are right again. It is because of what Christ has accomplished for us at the cross. On the cross, God poured out all his anger on the body of his son Jesus Christ and Jesus exhausted all the fiery indignation of a holy God against all our sins and when and when all of God's judgment of our sins had been completely exhausted in Jesus Christ he shouted it is finished John chapter 19 verse 30 and because and because our sins have already been punished God who is a holy and just God will not punish us today when we believe in what Christ his son has done at the cross for us God's holiness is now on our side God's righteousness is now is now for you not against you you are his beloved in whom he is well pleased because of Jesus finished work the next time the devil tries to rob you of your sense of being beloved by making you think that God is angry with you just ignore him ignore him when he says how can you call yourself a christian 
you are a right you are righteous beloved you are accepted and beloved child of god when you believe this you will have when you believe that you are accepted you are loved and you are the beloved child of god you will have the confidence to face every challenge with boldness knowing that you have god's unmerited favor on your side amen stay tuned share this video and bless a soul remember you are highly favored deeply loved and greatly greatly bl blessed stay connected bye bye